I'm scraping on this uh, binding, leveling it with the back of the fingerboard. Thought I'd just show you the process here. It's just like a lot of this other stuff. It's a, it's a long, drawn-out deal. I usually alternate between the sanding and the scraping on this. Seems to me like it does better that way. Here's the neck. Uh, here's the peg head overlay that we uh, we thin down, cut off the old neck. We're gonna glue it on here. Here we are uh, installing the truss rod. This is a Stuart McDonald uh, two-way truss rod. And I've installed it. It's got an Allen head down on this end. Installed it so it can be adjusted from the heel end because we don't have a cover on this particular type of thing. And we have put a little bit of sealer in there as it said in the instructions and we've got everything pretty well lined up here we made a little dry run on this uh, clamping this fingerboard on turn the camera on while I was doing this but you can get the idea of what we're into here We're going to try to show you uh, how this scrape the binding down on this resonator. We just glued the, uh, the fingerboard on our neck and while it's drying. We, it's been several days since this, uh, we put the binding on this resonator. So we'll show you the process of scraping it. it it's, it's pretty simple. It's just, just takes some time. Here's a shot of the fingerboard after it's glued on and dried. We're working on shaping this neck using a hand plane and a we'll use a spoke shave and rasp. Just anything that we can feel like we can use to shape this neck with. Well, I hadn't said much about uh, this thing. I've been showing uh, shaping this neck. It's a long, drawn-out process. I've got it shaped pretty well like I want it now. Still got to drill the holes for the tuners. Uh, still got to fit it to the body. 
put the inlays in it. 